are going to pop back over to Oris and Gerald as they make their way back to the orchard. Actually, I would I would ask Gerald to stay at the inn. All right. And head there myself. Gerald stays at the inn and watches the performance by F Robert and can either partake in drink and alcohol as he so chooses. He just stands there, staring at Robert. I'm going to assume uh, he rents a room for the two of you and then buys some food and drink and goes in there and eats it by himself. Yep. Okay. You're staying in the inn as Oris yeah. goes to uh, talk to his friend again. Would you like to get food and drink for yourself? Uh, sure. All right. So it would be 10 copper for a thing of food and 10 copper for a drink. Okay. All right. Anything else you want to do in the end while you're there? Take off my helmet. In privacy or? In privacy, yeah. In privacy. <laughs> uh, so you go, I assume, Oris, that you rented a room for the two of you for the night? Mm, no, I didn't. All right. Then you'll also rent a room for five silver, and then you can take your food and drink into the room and eat and drink in there. All right. All right. You head off into your room, take off your helmet. It's been a long day, the sweat matted hair, finally able to breathe outside of the helmet, and you start enjoying yourself as you eat and drink. Anything else that goes through Gerald's head? No, not really. Hey, hey Oris, you make your way to the orchard. Alright, I go and knock on Duran's door. You hear a uh, patter feet door creaks open. Hello? Hello? Ah, Oris. You're back. Don't sound too excited to see me, jeez. Ah, sorry, it's just... You know, us farmers get up early and go to sleep early as well. Ah, my apologies. Well, uh, I was wondering if you had a moment to speak. Uh, for you? Yes. Alright, I take a step inside, take my shoes right. off, leave them at the door. Alright, yes, feel free. Would you like more tea? Ah, yes, uh, that was very lovely last time. Starts brewing a pot of tea. But is it you had questions about? <clears throat> well, first things, um, I'm going to place my notebook down and open it up to the little map I'm drawing. I was wondering if you could give me a, an exact location of where you said Old Owl Well was. I believe you mentioned something about it being east? Mm, I never gave you a specific. All right. It pulls out. You pull out your map, I assume. Yeah. Okay. We're going to switch over on roll 20. Ah, uh, yes. I believe the general location, from uh, what I've been told and what uh, research I was able to do on my own, though I don't, I'm not able to adventure as freely as I once did with my orchard and bloom and eating tended to. Mm. So I mainly get out in the winter these days. I believe it is located uh, somewhere here. Ah, I see. So close to Coneyberry, then? Yes. Maybe. Um... Do you have any idea where the, I believe you said, Nethril Watchtower is? Uh, that would be... I assume near the well. Yes. At the well. Uh, it's called Old Owl Well, but it is the ruins of a watchtower of Nethril. The one other bit of information you would see on here is, I believe you took the notice from the mayor, the town master that you're attempting to currently overthrow. Oh yeah, the the one about the, the goblins. Wyvern Tor, yes. So, you have a general location but you don't know exactly where it is, but the general location on the map, and based off the information on the uh, quest reward stuff, points it over here. Okay, so they're all basically in the same area. Interesting. Uh, at least the ones you know of. You have not asked anyone where Thunder Tree is. True. Don't know where Thunder Tree is. Well, I while I'm here, uh, do you have any idea where the the ruins of the city of Thunder Tree is? That's another place that apparently mm. a tracker visited that we might be able to help find us. Uh, Cragmore Castle sounds familiar, but I just rolled an at one, so I have no <laughs> idea where that is. Okay, oh, fair enough. <laughs> Unfortunately, I do not. It sounds familiar, and it you know sounds. What? all right there's another person i can ask about it i should have asked them already but uh, i can do that later well uh 
There was another thing I wanted to talk to you about, Duran. Old friend Duran. My buddy Duran. <clears throat> All right, two things. Put my bag down, open it up. Um, first things first, I assume Tip like crawls up my shoulder and like sits on it for a moment. He woke up. Tip, Tip. Ah, I see you gained more experience. Yes, I did a lot of fighting today. I'm very mm. tired. That is one of the best ways to gain more experience. Oh yeah, and Gl Glass Staff. Remember you told you were telling me about Glass Staff, the leader of the Red Brands. Yes. Funny story, right? He's Arano Albrick, or was Arano Albrick. He's now dead. Mm. Fitting for a bandit leader. Yes, very dead. And the Red Brands are dead, and we found some bugbears underneath the manor, so there were Cragmore people in town, but you said you didn't know what Cragmore was, but uh, basically. The goblins and the red brands might be working together to try to overthrow Fandolin and or find Wave Echo Cave to overthrow Fandolin and or use Gundren to overthrow Fandolin. So we're trying to stop that. Mm -hmm. Yes, that would... Sorry, did you say Mind Flayers? What? No. What did you say? What did you say? Uh, the goblins and the red bands are working together. There are God. Mind Flayers here. Did you Sorry. say Mind Flayers? <laughs> because I thought you did. You know, us drow constantly at war. Yes. Anything that sounds remotely like that perks our attention. Well, I mean, <laughs> I, I'm glad you brought that up because there is a... There is a sorry, I'm very tired, Duran. <laughs> I'm uh, like rubbing my eyes. Here, he pours you the tea. <laughs> Take a sip. A ah, ah, little bit more energy. This tea is caffeinated. Whew. Okay. Whew. Let's open up my bag. I open it up now that tip's not in there. And first thing I pull out, the elongated goblin head, and put it on his tail. Oh, my, that is not typical for a goblin head. I was wondering if you had uh, any ideas about this thing, or perhaps we could uh, chop into it and see why the hell this thing's so bulgy. Uh, I mean, perhaps it's some ritual this particular tribe does where they bind the skulls of their newborns to elongate it. Yes, the body that I found it on had claw marks in it. Um... I don't suppose, retroactively, there's anything I could do to see if I thought the bugbears caused those claw marks? Um, if anything, you think, uh, the... The Nothic giant... did it? Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah, no, that, that, I forgot about that. Okay, well, um... Indeed. I'll, I'll, I'll leave the head with you if, if you're interested, otherwise I'll take it, but I figure... Uh, I could do a little research of what I can, but... Yes. I'll probably return to you sometime tomorrow, so whenever you get a chance. Ah, uh, this might take a week or so to ah. get the right tools, do the Fair dissecting. Enough. It's not well, something I wish to rush. Worst case scenario, we are here a week, but uh, if that is the case, uh, something bad has happened. Um, mm. There's also this, and I pull out the eye of the Nothic. This came from a beast that my friend described as a Nothic. Have you ever heard of anything like that? It looked very, dare I say, alien. Mm. They are, to the general understanding, most of the uh, magical community, wizards who devoted their life to unearthing arcane secrets. And instead of succeeding, they ended up cursed by Vecna. Vecna? Yes. So they were, like, obsessed with... Magic. Arcane knowledge and magic. And magical wells and places rich in arcana. Hmm. Why would he be under Fandolin? Perhaps the, uh... Trinzador? The manor? That's the manor, right? Yeah. Perhaps they had more magical power than people realized. The Trinzar... Trinzdars? Hmm. Or perhaps... Glassstaff offered him something from Wave Echo Cave if they discovered it. I don't know. Perhaps. Interesting. That it was quite the scary beast. I hate to Im admit my faults, but uh, it would have killed me instantly if I did not have allies by my side. Yes. They are quite formidable foes. If the spider is working with Ruxathid which is some sort of goblin, but not goblin. And there is some 
connection between that and the Forge of Spells, uh, that, by that I mean the Nothic. Well, long story short, they need to be stopped. I don't suppose you have any... <laughs> a a any great weapons of destruction I could use to kill the, the spider. Uh, unfortunately... I... Spider traps? Two knocks. Okay. Most of what I held that was magically powerful, I returned to my benefactor to free myself from our contract. Right. Oh, well, I appreciate all the things you've done for me since I've gotten to Phandalin, and, uh, yeah. Any chance you could do one more thing for me and, uh, let me sleep over tonight? Uh, uh, I, I mean, I only have the one bed. Sleep uh, on this chair. If you so wish to, then yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that uh, old Queenie will reach out tonight and maybe being away from the the surface folk in will help that happen. But uh, if not, I'll just leave in the morning. I won't I won't bother you. Yes. Uh, our patrons are fickle things. Yes, yes, they are. Uh, you, you guys spend more of the night talking for a little bit until you both turn in. Yeah, at a certain point, he's talking to me, and I he realizes I'm asleep. Yes. Uh, at the end, unless someone has something they specifically want to do, much like last night, people make their way to bed at different times. People start leaving. Robert Did plays. Did buying beers for people get any more signatures? Uh, no. All right. Well, it's, it's playing the long game. Yes, sir. All right. Anything else specifically people would like to do tonight? Uh, Robert's gonna ask the barkeeper if he knows of any uh, alchemically inclined individuals. Ah, uh, unfortunately, Fandolin isn't prosperous or big enough of a town to have any alchemists yet. Uh, the best bet would probably be Neverwinter. All right, Robert's gonna go to his room. All right. Why did we even leave Neverwinter? Sucks for the job. Yeah, you guys keep telling us it's like we're. <laughs> It's like we live in Rockford, and they're like, oh, just go to Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Pretty much, man. Pretty much. It's not that big of a town yet. Sort of out of the way. Of, you would know that because you live here. Yeah, it's out of the way of just about everything. <laughs> you don't see a lot of stuff. What would really bring this town to Providence is finding Wayback O Cave. So. <laughs> Call me Long Indiana name. Jones. Um... Uh, through the night, night passes. You guys take a long rest. Uh, all you receive tonight, Dylan, is whispers saying, "From the king, find it." Excellent. <laughs> and I know that's my queen, right? Uh, yes. You recognize the voice. Uh, wake up in the morning. Uh, people can buy food if they want. You notice that Duran ha is not in the house anymore. He did mention last night that he gets up early to tend to his orchard. Yeah. So. I wake up, like, <gasps> fall off the chair, get up, hit, bang my head on the, the table. Tip! Tip! Where are you? Tip. Oh, there you are. You see him? He's, like, sitting on the other chair on the top of it, like, head turned sideways, glancing at you curiously. All right, I, I break off a part of my ration bread, and I give it to him to eat. Tip! He grabs it with both hands, starts nibbling on it. I forgot to feed you yesterday. I'm a bad oh. parent. Yep. Yeah. some food at the bar. That's all I'll do. All right, you get some food. Um, what are people looking to get accomplished today? As I wake up, I'll head back to the inn because I assume that's where they are, and I'll I'll yes. wait for people to eventually like wake up and we can discuss. Uh, you you make your way back to the inn. You walk in at that point. Gerald, uh, and Frito are already at the bar talking to each other, however much conversation happens out of that. Uh, Frito is eating his breakfast. You, I assume, ate some rations on the way over here. Yeah. Um, you notice them, and what do you do? All right, I walk up, sit down at the bar. Good morning, com comrades. Everybody get good sleep? Better than dealing with all the bullshit we dealt with yesterday. Yes, I believe should probably have a bit of a discussion about uh, the information we got from Sildar as far as the town master. So Robert's not here, right? Uh, not yet. Where's our uh, Ganassi friend? Uh, Big Bobby. Uh, I'm sure he went on a bender after his epic performance last night. Oh, I missed a performance. 
rats. Um, I slept at one of my friends' house. He's, Robert, he's rock star made. Yes. You are awake in your room, but you are doing your drugs. <laughs> yeah. He's stroking it. Well, how did you get on with the? <laughs> how did you get on with the? You know, the signatures yesterday. That was pretty done? good. I got a. Uh, you know, we needed uh, three. I currently have forty. So. Oh. Well. Uh, and to clarify, this in does not include Sildar or Frito signatures. So okay, technically perfect. forty-two, assuming that so he signs. My mo today is I'll go around to uh, the populace and uh, see if I can get any more. I think having even let's say ten more signatures would make a big difference. So that's my main focus for today. Yes, I I agree with that. Perhaps well, maybe you should take Gerald with you, have him protect you from anything in case uh, Harbin's followers are upset about us uh, doing what we're doing. I, w I was thinking, though, the way Sildar talked about the town master I in maybe informed my brain a little bit more about how the town works. I I do think it's good for us to get you in as town master. I also think that the town master position is kind of pointless, the way that Fandolin is currently run. Uh, I was under the impression that they had a bit more power, so... Everything goes through Neverwinter nowadays, but once you are in control, I think maybe we should try to, you know, up the ante a little bit as far as what your role is. You know, we need guards here. We need a wall built. We need protection from the goblins. We need soldiers. So, um... I like those ideas. Yeah, we need to, we need to do this as fast as we can, and hopefully Sildar can help us with that. I think the biggest uh, benefit of being here is that the access you classified information where yes there might be certain <coughs> <coughs> he's been poisoned be... oh god <laughs> the, the, works. the opposition okay. wouldn't let him in oh my god the entourage has already arrived uh <laughs> potentially we would get more information by seeing those files and that could inform what we do next yes so. Yes, and so if you and Gerald go around trying to get more signatures, I'll wait for Robert, and perhaps we can head over to the town hall and get his manacles back and then meet up with you guys. And we do have things we still need to do in order to protect the town. We're probably not going to be able to get you in as town master before we have to leave and deal with these goblins. Well, but when we come back, we'll be ready. What I can do, too, is uh, I... Uh... I have a few people that uh, are very... W would you say it's fair, William, if there are of the 40 people that signed, some of some of them were, like, extremely enthusiastic about it? Of, uh, like, they really wanted... Definitely Hilbert. two of them, when two. they signed, were very enthusiastic about it. I don't know how they're feeling about it right now anymore. Uh, and I'm talking about the people Andrew Charmed, of course. Yep. Uh, uh, besides that, maybe like 10 of them were very deeply unsatisfied, but they're, they're probably also the people who didn't vote for him in the first place. Well, what I can do is while I talk to the people who I know haven't signed, I'm going to go to those 10 ish people and I'm going to see if I can drum up support and that that's kind of talked about and they, you know, go across the fence as per se and try and convince, uh, others while we're not here mm. that, uh, we could find a better leader. Yes, and, and be careful, because there's no doubt that all the ruckus we're stirring up has somehow gotten back to Harbin. Uh, so Harbin's a pussy. He's yeah, a new that, that's fair. But hopefully there isn't uh, some contingent of people that actually like him and yeah. like that he's a pussy. <laughs> I think the I message just... we sent of killing all the Red Brand and their accomplices at their yeah. hideout sent a message in and of itself. Yeah, and if you have Gerald by your side, nobody's gonna fucking mess with you. Who in this town could stand a chance against him? Ain't nobody fucking with my boy Gerald. Apparently, yeah, big if you get enough red brands into a room, probably. Yeah. Or enough skeletons. Yeah. <laughs> if there's an uh, army of skeletons point, hiding somewhere. Robert stumbles out, feeling great. Big Bob! High as fuck. Oh, yeah. Sad. What? Uh, yeah, he gets it. Oh, oh no. That boy is faded. <laughs> That's that rock star lifestyle for you. <laughs> it's a lifestyle, uh, man. 
you approach the bar, the you get slighted a free thing of food and a free thing of beer uh, as continuous payment for your great performances. Hey, Tobin. Yes. What's your opinion on the current town master? Um, well, well, it's not great that he didn't really do anything about the red brand, but I can see that he was scared. A lot of us were. No one stood up when they murdered Fell. Mm. Uh, but as Frito know, I am willing for Neverwinter to do their investigation. Yes, well, that is fair. And you, you believe that Frito could do a better job? I don't know if Frito could, but I believe someone could. Hmm. Fair enough. Well, uh, Robert, do you have any interest in going and retrieving your manacles from the town hall? That would be very helpful. Oh, I just realized we still have a living, assuming he hasn't been taken off to Neverwinter, we still have a living red brand. I wonder if there's any information we can get out of him now that everybody's fucking dead. He's got no upper hand on us now. He but has. we can see that when we get there. Yes. All right. All right. Take his toes. <laughs> exactly. If 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 anything, we will take his toes. Anything else in the end people would like to do? Um, no, I don't think so. All right. So we're once again going to have a roll for uh, signatures. Uh, Robert and Oris, you make your way to the town hall. Uh, Gerald and Frito make your way around town petitioning people. So Frito, give me another... Uh, D100, but you're going to minus 42 from the dice roll to account for the people that have already signed the petition. There's only about 100 people who live here. If I get less than um, 42, can I roll again? Uh, I'll allow you to roll once more, but after that, just no one else really wanted to join you. Okay. At this point. Uh, yeah, nobody else wants to join. <laughs> uh, but... <laughs> You do eventually meet up with those 10 people who uh, really seemed enthusiastic about meeting with you. These are some of the people, these are the remaining people you used to run with when you were more of like a thief in a low life that didn't end up joining the Red Brands or moving on to some other gang or thievery in some other bigger and richer target. I'm with the gang gang. Ah, uh, so the Can leader of this... Roll? Uh, the leader of this group is your friend, Nick. Hey, yo. <laughs> hey, Nick. Uh, so, I'm glad we... Uh... <laughs> Hilarious. All right, I'll pick a different name. I just wanted that I just wanted that one one moment right there where Nick says, hey, Nick. Hey, Nick. Uh, how's it going? Um, nah, his name is... What's a good D&D human name? His name is Ibar Fa. Uh, hey, Bar. You guys call him Frost as a play on words on his last name. Yeah. How you doing, Frost? I'm glad we were able to reconnect last night a little bit. Ah, it's, it's great to see you again, Frito. Oh. It's good to be back in town. Good to see familiar faces, as always. Um, you know, I've had quite a few memories over the years, that's for sure. Indeed. Oh. Uh, I guess I just kind of wanted to follow up a bit on what we talked about last night and the failings of our current uh, mayor is um, one thing I will say is uh, last night at the bar it was a great success a lot of people were on board uh, today's been quite the opposite I actually have not gotten another signature this day so um, it may come up within uh, the next uh, few days or so that me and my crew are going to be leaving town and I was uh, wondering if uh, you and uh, our squad, uh, if you would just be able to be, not constantly, of course, but uh, occasionally whispering in some of the people who are still a bit hesitant on trying to get uh, Hildar thrown. Uh, so you want us to run your election campaign for Townmaster? Yes, yes. It's, um, given uh, we could not get a majority, it... Uh, might not be possible for uh, the folks in Neverwinter to prioritize this too much, but in, say, the six months it does take to reach the next election cycle, if uh, everyone here would uh, be able to put their support behind me and uh, try and rid ourselves of this 
particularly incompetent fool, then uh, we can look ahead to a better Phantolin. Yes, Arbin was a bit of a weak-willed fool, but perhaps he's what he what this town needed to get through the Red Brand Crisis. But now that the crisis is over, we need a new voice. Well, and you hear the people behind him, yeah, let's do it. I think that's a good way to frame it, is, you know, there's a leader for every time that is needed. And that time has moved on to a new era, to where we must adapt to the times, and uh, not to toot my own horn, but uh, I believe I'm much more accomplished and qualified, understanding as well of the strife of those in Fandalin that. Mm, yes, and those, uh, that new crew you're running with, uh, seems like they've got a good head on their shoulders and can advise you well. We're a, we're a great bond. It's, uh, I have guys too long, to be honest, but, uh, there are uh, trials especially and tribulations. You, especially if you've got a monster we, uh, like this armored knight with you on your team. Yes. The mighty Gerald. He's, uh, a bit of a silent type, but he's saved my ass time and time again. In fact, in this recent battle we had with the Red Brand and Bugbears, if it Bug weren't bears. for this man here... What were Bugbears doing in Fandalin? They were in the manor with uh, the Red Brand. Hmm. That's not good, but there is good information we can use against... We can't have, uh, we can't have them running amok in our town. Exactly. They killed my friend, my good buddy Jim. We shared so many memories together. Maybe you knew him. I think he was around town quite a bit, but... Jim. Those bugbears. Yes, Jim. Did the... always, he always hung out with Tim, Tim 2, and Dave, correct? Yes. And yes. I think, I um... They were ripped. Jim was ripped away from me. And oh, I just can't he, get over just... it, man. He sort of gives you, like, a bro hug. It's all right. I, I, I hug him back. It's all right, man. I, it's not it's, all right. It's going it's, to be all right. I appreciate it's not your all right, support, not, but it's but going to be. Yes. We all have to work together because this is deep-rooted within our town, and our town knows better than this monstrosity that's been thrown into we've, our way. We've been rebuilding Fandlin for 50 years, and look at the squalor we're still living in. We need someone to take charge and lead us to the new era. Yes, and I will be that man. So come six months from now. Or I sooner will... if the uh, investigation finds something. Yes, well, of course I will make my uh, <clears throat> campaign stops, if uh, for use of better words, between now and then. I don't want uh, the populace to be led to believe that... Uh, their uh, leader will just up and leave whenever is convenient for him. And uh, But uh, I assure you that I will be back and I will be in touch. That is good. Thank you. All right. So this is a new mechanic we'll be doing that uh, me and Frida will be keeping track of. So once per week, you're going to roll a D100 and minus the current vote total you have for yourself. It's going to start at 10 for these 10 people who you've convinced should you should be elected. As of right now, everyone else who signed the petition is just agreed they should do an investigation. So This is awesome. Wait, so I roll a D100 every week and... Mm -hmm. Say you get, you get a 20. You minus 10, you add 10 more people to the vote total, voting for you. Next week, you roll a 21. You're going to minus 20 and add 1. Because you're not, you're not going to convince new people, but there's only going to be a hundred people in this town. So, and you have to minus the people who are already voting from you from who you've been able to convince every week. So if you roll a hundred the first week, you have, you've already convinced everyone to vote for you. If you roll a five for three weeks straight, your campaign ain't really going that well. I got that Ron DeSantis support. Um, okay, wait, so... So I roll the t D100, mm -hmm. and then I subtract the 10, D10 roll from, or D... Just 10. Okay. And then I add, so if I roll a 24... You'd add 14. Oh, I take, oh, okay. I, I was, I thought it was subtract, like, 
if I rolled a 96, subtract 90, and add 6. And I'm like, well, yeah. I ain't ever gonna get anywhere with that shit. Okay. So, but then the next week, you roll a, a 30, you're gonna be minusing 24, because those 24 people are already voting for you. Okay, yeah. I like this. I will uh, write this down. Should I do the first roll now, or are we gonna wait to do that? Uh, no, this is gonna be the start of week 1, so at the end of week 1, so 7 days from now, you roll again. Perfect. I will write all that stuff down. It's lit. Here, I'll send this to the chat. Oh, I was hitting the wrong button. There you go. All right. Robert and Horace. Where were you going again? Uh, town Hall. Town Hall. All right. So you make your way across Market Square, uh, seeing that the town is starting to wake up. And you make your way back to the town master's hall. Um, inside, uh, you, uh, there is no one currently here, but you're still able to enter because it is a, well, there's someone, there's like one guard currently posted who takes like the night shift when everyone else is still asleep. He's like, hello. Hello, guard. What's your name? Ah, uh, I am, uh, Finn. Finn. Nice. Nice name, Finn. Thank you. <coughs> You are the uh, adventurers who dealt with the Red Brands, correct? And brought the sniveling bastard in the, the holding cell in. Does everybody already know about that, we, that we dealt with the Red Brand? It's a very small town, and you guys were very adamant you did it at the end last night. <laughs> oh, I was just surprised, because I haven't seen a parade going on outside, but uh, I guess that... Uh... Uh, we are also not big enough of a town that we can all stop doing what we need to do to keep it... Right. Surviving. The cows aren't going to milk themselves, so to speak. Yes. Gotcha. Not so to speak. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> cow milking festival. <laughs> Unless we hire a bunch of wizards to come and create some sort of spell for that. Uh, probably at the next harvest festival we will celebrate. Excellent. Well, I look forward to <laughs> when that. When is that? Um, well, it is in our terms. It's probably like June, late June right now. So probably uh, about... Well, that makes sense, because June is the sixth month, so they would elect someone in December, they'd take office and on the 1st of January. Mm. And that, that cycles as a year. I made that work. Uh, Excellent. In about four months uh, during October, uh, or whatever the equivalent is in this universe. October theft. Yes. Well, um, I don't suppose Harbin is somewhere nearby. Ah, uh, he probably at his home uh, sleeping mm. or waking up. Well, he doesn't need to be here very often, unless there's new records to be held or a new trial. Right. But he does come in every day for three or four hours, just to make sure nothing's going on. Update the wanted posters and the bounties and stuff like that. If you see him, let him know that the drow that isn't Duran wants to speak to him. Uh, I mean, what I, I could probably help you with what you want. What are you here for? Um, that is a good question. Let's see if I remember. Oh, yes. We Last night we dealt with the Red Brand, as you know, in underneath the manor, uh, the Tresendar Manor. There are tons of bodies down there. People from the town, yes, they were Red Brands, but I believe uh, it is, you know, only right that we bury their bodies. Um, don't want to disrespect the dead. There's also probably uh, some stuff down there that people, are, people have had stolen from them, so go through there. Yes, and... I will make sure we organize a retrieval yes uh, once more of the guards are awake yes not more there's like five of us and the other so. thing we came here to do was uh my friend here robert he put some manacles on a red brand ah, we kidnapped and the manacles yes, yes. Uh, he sort of turns around walks over to a desk pulls them out pulls out the manacles here you go ah thank you i don't suppose we could uh speak to the red brand that we kidnapped uh i mean it wasn't really Sorry, kidnapping. <laughs> yeah. Weird choice of words there. Uh, we were planning yeah. on kidnapping him, but no, 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 no. I don't say that. Um. Yeah, I mean, feel free to go ahead. Uh, I wasn't told to stop you guys from doing it. Excellent. Uh, if you have, I would, we did send out a uh, notice yesterday to Neverwinter to send some, uh, I guess jailers to pick him up and bring him to a more official prison mm -hmm. for his crimes. So if you have any questions, they'll probably be here in two, two and a half weeks. Mm. Yeah, that. Excellent. Well, thank you, Finn. Yes. Mighty fine work at your job. 
Thank you. If, if it was up to me or one of my friends, if they happen to be town master for whatever reason, you would definitely get a promotion. <laughs> I am already captain of the guard, but thank you. You'd be one step higher than that. <laughs> uh, Supreme okay. captain of the guard. <laughs> and I walk past him. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess me and Robert head to the prison cell. Hey, you approach the prison cell. Robert, do you remember if this guy said what his name was? I remember him spitting on me and then me wanting his toes. Oh, yes. Spitty toe guy. <clears throat> uh, as you approach the cell, you see the red brand look up and then his face just like drain of color. And sort of a... I smile and give him a wave. Spitty. He, he tries to get far back away from you as possible. Hello, Spitty. Miss us? I bet you've heard the news, eh? He sort of like looks around the cell trying to figure out if you're, who you're talking to. <laughs> Have you heard the good word about your old boss, Glassstaff? I I heard the gods bragging, but... Uh, oh, well, I don't know why I they're bragging. I didn't believe it. Well, more like rubbing it in my face. Ah, good. But I didn't believe them until you showed up with the, his staff. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, uh, not Robert. Uh, something in your throat? Uh, yes, I was just... Uh, I just got very excited suddenly. <laughs> Russia blood. You forgot something, he had it. <laughs> something very. There's just something really cool about like hearing that your boss died and then like seeing the staff that he had. That that's that's a cool image. <clears throat> yes, I did. we uh, we did deal with that old wizard fuck. Hey, he was the greatest man I ever served under. Show him some respect. And why is that? Why was he so great? You know, he cared for us. He let us. Drink and have parties. He provided a fair share of the loot. No, he didn't. He gave us power. I'm sorry to tell you, Spitty, but he was keeping all the good best stuff for himself. Well, of course he was. He was our leader. Okay, well, so you, so don't don't use that as an option as to why he's so great. I said great. fair share. He's a wizard. We're dudes with knives. A fair share for us <laughs> isn't a lot. Well, you should think higher of yourself, Spitty. This is, that's why you're in this prison cell right now. Fair. Sure. Anyway. Uh, Robert, do you have anything to ask Spitty? Do you have a real name? A name that isn't Spitty. Yeah. Watch how I tell you. Well, I mean, if you tell me your name, there's a better chance, percentage-wise, that I'll become somewhat attached to you, and then it's less likely that I'll be okay with someone hurting you or killing you or something. You might get a second chance just by telling me your name. I might want to bring you along in all my special adventures. Show you the world, Spitty. If you must know, my name is Adolf. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> I think your parents wanted you to die. <clears throat> How many balls do you have? Three. What? <laughs> Jesus Christ! They cook them weird down here. <clears throat> Sorry, Robert, go ahead. I, <laughs> I shouldn't have asked any of these questions. <laughs> oh, God. Adolf, the prospective maybe painter, maybe not painter. Um, Never been interested in painting. More interested okay. in uh, making jewelry. Oh, that's adorable. Do you ever try pursuing making jewelry? Uh, not in any official way. Uh, some of the uh, some of the jewelry that uh, you might have looted off the corpses of my brethren that I made. Ah, well, uh, their jewelry looked very nice. Uh, uh, that is that is interesting. You are very gifted, Adolf. It's a shame you turn to crime instead of jeweler yeah. well the only way for me to get the materials to uh make my jewelry was to steal them because this is a poor ass town i i don't condone it but i understand yeah it sounds like you just needed someone to believe in you maybe if you help us uh locate a uh, certain certain places we could help you not be killed viciously in neverwinter and pursue your dreams of jewelry craft. I hear they take your toes one by one before forcing you to eat them and then they turn you into a toe. Uh, low level brigand like me? I'll probably serve two years and be out. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, I, I, I don't think you understand the situation, Spitty. <laughs> they think you're Glassstaff. <laughs> can, I, can I roll a deception roll? <laughs> Give me a deception roll. <laughs> oh my god, they're gonna kill me. Oh, I thought that was a natural 27. 
<laughs> I'm pretty sure they don't. No, that was a test. You, you passed. Good job. <clears throat> what questions did you have? We're looking for a couple places in particular. We killed Glastap for uh, asking him, but that's beside the point. So, uh, I don't happen to know anything about uh, Kragmar Castle. Would you? Uh, no, and neither did Glastaff, actually. Um, the only people here who knew where it was were the bugbears they sent to help us. Mm. Ah. My, what What were the bugbears helping you with? Uh, just general thievery as a... Maybe as an insurance plan. Glastaff didn't really elaborate on that part. Most of us were uneased with them being there, but... Uh, he didn't. One didn't argue with uh, a wizard about what he wanted to do. What did he want to do? Uh, in general, cause mayhem, rob people. That's it. Uh, as far as we knew, he didn't give us details. But I didn't want to be on the receiving end of a fireball. <sighs> what was your role in all of it? Just hang out with the other three guys that we killed and try to scare people and take their things. Um, yeah, that. Uh, keep a lookout for any interesting. People coming to town asking questions. Mm. You don't like people who ask many questions, do you? <laughs> well, when you're trying to run a criminal organization and you get people coming in asking questions, it's especially when they're about you, you typically want to deal with that before authorities greater than the sniveling townmaster are alerted. So, was your devotion to Glassstaff more about how awesome you felt he was, or more about the fear of being fireballed? A little bit of both. Okay. Well, let me ask you this, Adolf. I'm not going to call you that, by the way. I'm going to go with Spitty. I cannot call you that. <laughs> Please don't call me Spitty. Okay, fine. AD, how about that? That works. Okay, AD. H-Man. You are... <laughs> you are... Someone who respects great power, you also want to be on the side that is not going to get you an early grave. So I'm seeing a scenario here where you help us out, and we help you out, and we're all happy. Um, unless you need jewelry made, I don't think there's much I can help you with. <laughs> Just, I you know, beg to differ. Considering how easily you whooped our asses. Yes, but we are the most... I don't know. Robert, what would you say? Like, top ten most badass people in the region? Uh, you think highly of himself. Maybe top fifty. I look over at him. Says the guy in the cage. Hey, I'm <laughs> probably, like, top a thousand. Okay? I think you're thinking a bit highly of yourself. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I don't know how many people are in this region, but, a, but it's a bit lower than that, Spitty. I mean, AD, sorry. <clears throat> well, I don't know. Maybe you're useless to us. Uh, I was trying to help you... <laughs> Help yourself, but if you don't want to be let out of this cage, uh... Oh, I'm all for not ending up in a prison in Neverwinter, but... No, 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 you'll be fine. Anyway, yes. thanks for the... Nothing, really. Um, is, Do you know uh, anything? I mean... Anything that could help us? We will... I will literally break this cage down right now if you say one thing that helps us in stopping this spider person. Just saying that a little bit loud, but okay. I wink at Robert. <clears throat> yeah, uh... Don't promise to free our prisoners, please. <laughs> I wink at the guard. <laughs> he sort of nods. Um, I mean, I'm a grunt, man. I was not... I was not uh, privy to Glassstaff's plans, nor the spider. All you didn't I know hear is, anyone say anything. All I know is the bugbears were sent to reinforce us, provide extra muscle, um, and that, yeah... Uh, for the information you're looking for, that's about all I know. What were your dealings with uh, the goblins? Goblins? Ah, I mean, since sure. uh, we're working with the spider, and the goblins are also working with the spider, we sort of ran messages back and forth between each other, but instead of wasting any uh, <clears throat> red brand muscle doing it, we had the, the sniveling goblins do it. Uh -huh. Okay. What about the goblins with the long heads? Uh, not quite sure. Neither are the goblins. They just start showing up at some point and helping us, but creeping everyone out. So we all sort of vowed to just not speak of it. Were they sent by the spider? I do not know. How were they getting to you? Up uh, the secret passage under the manor that leads to the forest by the Anderley farm. 
Yeah. Uh, sort of, since I assume you went into our base, sort of juts out in that cavern with the creepy eye monster. Ah, yes. So you have seen the creepy eye monster? Ah, uh, yes. What the fuck was that about? <laughs> uh, some, some, I, ah, <laughs> uh, it was there when we got here, and Glassstaff struck some deal with it to guard our hideout. Ah. Uh, probably. Probably giving him some of the loot you guys found. Um, um, have you been any farther than the tunnel in, in that leads to the forest? Have you gone anywhere outside of that? It just leads to and from the forest. But how did the goblins get to that part of the forest, I guess? I mean, the goblins, they probably just snuck around the mountain. Mm. Not the mountain, but the hill the manor's on. Mm. Yeah, because, I mean, on the map, you see that the forest sort of leads off the map. So it's yeah. pretty thick forest covering part of the manor. So as long as they approached from behind the hill and went into the forest, that like dusk or dark or when it's not bright out and people can see them, no one would notice. Did you notice any sort of trail that they left leading from that tunnel? I mean, they would always, I mean, from the tunnel specifically, they would go east. But I mean, I know they were coming from somewhere to the north. So I know, uh, what would you need in terms of material to, uh, try making some jewelry? I mean, it depends on what type of jewelry you're looking for. You're looking for iron? I don't know, a sword you can let me smelt down. You're looking for wooden? Just get me a tree. You're looking for stuff with jewels? I'll need some jewels. If you want it fancy? Something with gold I can smelt? Something with silver? Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you need any tools to do it as well? That you didn't already have in the manor. Well, I mean, I didn't... Most of the stuff was crude. I just sort of used a makeshift fire. If I want to make something that's better and more refined, I would need the proper forge and the proper smelting tools and mm -hmm. jewelry tool, jewelry making oh, tools. like excuse oh, forge in town. Have you seen a forge in town? I, I don't think there is one, but there might be. Uh, I believe there is. Is hmm. there a blacksmith in town? No. I suppose uh, that I mean, would make sense, as they would have a forge. <laughs> Perhaps that is something you guys can work on looking at improving during your election. Yes. Yeah. Our build back better plan. <laughs> yeah. Make Vandalin great again, that's what I say. <laughs> oh, well, don't say well, that too often. My, uh, we did make Adolf most will of be our perfect money. for that. We did make most oh, of our money, however, uh, selling my jewelry out of the gold coins and silver coins we Got. We would smelt them down, and I would make rough jewelry, and we would sell it to the nobility of Faerun. Really? So you must be pretty good, then, if they're buying your stuff. Uh, yes. Uh, have you ever heard of the jewelry by the name of, uh, us? Sorry, let me, let me think of something good. <laughs> Carrot Johnson. <laughs> it can't be worse than Adolf, whatever he's about to say. <laughs> he just bust out. Stalin. Hey, I. No, no, no. I'm thinking of Mao. something good. I got the first Mao part of it. I'm trying to do like a two word. <laughs> Mao. Thing. Mao's here. Oh, shit. <laughs> I sold them to Epstein and his island. <laughs> My name's Jelaine. Have you heard of I'm me? I'm trying <laughs> Mithril Star. That's a person? Well, it's a famous jeweler. Jew jeweler. I'm, I'm sure that's more of like a, a stage. Name. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I uh, give me a history also, check. I've heard it once. Both of us? I've, I may have heard it more, more than once. Yeah. This is how you've probably heard the name if you, if you get like more than a five. 18. 17. All right. Both of you know that uh, Mithril Star uh, is the, like the work made by the legendary mysterious Mithril Star is some of the most sought after uh, jewelry in all of Faerun. Holy shit. Because not much of it gets made and that that does, it might come out crude, but it's still the most beautiful jewelry anyone's ever seen. Are you Mithril Star? I have one of your necklaces right here. Spitty, do you think I'm going to fall for that bullshit? There's absolutely no way you worked with THE Mithril Star. I'm not saying I work with Mithril Star. I'm saying I am Mithril Star. Fuck <laughs> that shit. Right now! <laughs> Cut it out! I do not take kindly to being lied to. 
He got a nat 20 on persuasion. <laughs> he did? Yeah. Okay. So I believe I'm him. I'm just like, in fuck shock. that. Uh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Thank God we didn't kill you. <laughs> Jewel, making uh, jewelry was always my passion. That's all it takes. More of my hobby. That's all it takes. As long as you're really good at something. Thank God we didn't kill you. So I'm, I'm not really concerned about uh, what they'll do to me in Neville. Yeah, you just pull out the Mithril Star card and you're home free. Holy shit. And perhaps finally having the motivation to leave this shithole will uh, do good for my career. Finn! Did you know this guy's Mithril Star? What? He is? <laughs> yeah! Holy shit! What's he doing in our prison? Why did you join the Red Brands? You're like the most impressive jeweler in all the land! Um, I mean, it, part of the, the reason material. I joined is... Uh, Hey, I didn't have the material. Uh, Glassstaff promised it to me, and uh, honestly, before I joined, no one believed in me. Uh, Glassstaff did. I'll tell you who does believe in you, Mithril. And that's Frida, the guy who's going to be the town master in this place in a couple months. We got to get this guy out of this cage, Robert. <laughs> Finn's like, uh, I mean, well, he is, um, if he is indeed Mithril Star, uh, and his legacy to the art and culture of Faerun is very important, if so true. Uh, don't you think Neverwinter should still decide whether or not he's yes. saying what he's saying is true? Yes, that's fair, that's fair. Um, well... We could get his court date pushed up. I see why he goes by Mithril Star. If you went by the other name, it'd be... Uh, well, anyway. <laughs> Mithril, I am a huge fan really of your roll work. off the tongue as much as Mithril. Adolf Star! <laughs> um... <laughs> Uh, I'm so Adolf sorry. Star is actually my legal name. Oh, well, that's a great but name. I do go by AD with my friends. Oh my god, this is incredible. This is the best day of my life. You have no idea how big a fan I am. Uh, I don't usually like surface, you know, clothing and all that. But what you make is just, it's just different, man. I'm, I'm glad my art speaks to you. Well, um, <laughs> perhaps when you're in Neverwinter free and working on your art, we can come and visit. Ah, uh, yes, and perhaps if uh, the rumors surrounding Gundrand are true, and this place is once again the center of Ford, I'll find my way back. I'm like wiping tears from my eyes. Oh, I can't believe it! What a weird... It's a small world, Robert. It's a truly small world. <laughs> oh, if that doesn't make you think there's something else out there, I don't know what will. Uh, well, it's, it's, uh, uh, I walk away. Well, it was nice talking to you. I'm full of emotion. I can't handle it. <laughs> it was nice talking to you, too. Uh, I wish you the best. Uh, try not to join any more gangs. That would be great. Uh, <laughs> well, perhaps maybe I'll find invest some... in you when you are not in prison. Maybe I'll find some pa finally get some pa patronage in Neverwinter. Mm -hmm. and not have to resort to stealing for my... No, I don't know how that would affect my art. Maybe I need to keep stealing so the art maintains its quality. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'll try I'm some okay. non-stealing art. See how it turns out. Yeah, yeah, good, good, good. I'll try to, if I can, show up to your uh, trial if I'm in the area. I don't remember how long it takes to get to Neverwinter. Probably a while. Uh, about a week. Do you? Mm. One way. So I'll probably have my trial in like three or four weeks. Well, maybe we'll be in the area. Perhaps. All right. Goodbye. Have a good one. And you guys walk out meeting this beloved artiste. <laughs> I'm Faerun. like holding my head in my hands. We were gonna take his fucking toes, man. What the fuck? I almost killed the Mithril Star. I, I... <coughs> well, how do, uh, how do the... his toes would be? <laughs> Did Freedom just show up randomly? <laughs> Jesus Christ. As far as I am aware, you're still trying to recruit people in town. Oh yeah, I was I was just giving Who said that? The, the funniest <laughs> banter of all time. Launch an Eldritch <laughs> blast at them. <laughs> nah, that was in all honestly, it started with me trying to think of a name that would make you guys not want to recruit him. And then he just kept <laughs> asking questions and I'm like, you know what would be funny? Mithril star. <laughs> it would really be funny if it was like what if, it's, because he didn't start like a fascist movement, what if this Adolf was actually good at his art and was just like <laughs> bored and joined again? <laughs> he went into another art school. Well, uh, Robert, um, do you want to join me in uh, going and talking to the Dendrars next? Yeah. Still wiping tears from my eyes. What a legend, um, eh? 
master, master craftsman, craftsman. All right, well, that's what we had to do. Uh, well, actually, there is a smithy in town. How like? <laughs> well, we would kill know him. No, that was just me not reading the map fully. Um, Mithril Star lied to me. <laughs> so, a little bit of Rikon. There is a forge in town, mm -hmm. uh, but it is pretty primitive and basic. And mm -hmm. whenever he needed to make jewelry, the Red Brands would sort of muscle their way in and take over the smithy for however long he needed. Uh, so, as you noticed, there wasn't really one. Believe in him. Well, he did. They just didn't have one in the port, uh, mansion. Right. Yeah. They didn't let him cook on base. <laughs> Let my boy Mithril Star cook. She's like, why, why invest in opening a smithy in your own home when you, there already is one? Yeah, yeah, just down the street. Exactly. And you're bandits too, so you don't really care about kicking someone out of their own place of work. Yeah, no. we we gotta insert some capitalism into this town. Ain't no fun. Damn right. <laughs> no more poverty people here. No That's, more uh, communal sharing. Fuck that. Everyone has their own. <laughs> Uh, you make your way back into the town square. Uh, at this point, Frito and Gerald are still walking around, meeting with people. Uh, so we will go straight over to the Dindrars. Because uh, you know where they live. Because uh, I talked to you about that last night. Oh, I do. So you approach their home. And they have prime real estate. I know. They must, uh, must not... <laughs> Maybe their husband was... Uh... All three of their husbands were uh, a really good businessman. I, I I still can't believe we just met the Mithril Star. <clears throat> anyway, I'll walk up to the door and knock on it. You, the door opens. You see, uh, uh, Marina answers. Ah, Boris, what brings you to our humble home? Well, um, it's just a, a a quick moment. I wanted to deliver something to you that I hadn't realized in the moment. Or, I'd, I actually, I don't think we've seen each other since I found it. Or if we did, I don't remember. But, um, I pull out the unicorn pendant. I found this while we were fighting the red brands. Ah, Fel's old necklace. Thank you uh, for bringing it back to us. Mm -hmm. She reaches out and takes it, sort of like tears in her eyes, and just holds it longingly. Do you, um... Do you know... Were you there when it happened? Yeah. It's, unfortunately, they uh, came to our shop and uh, were harassing me when uh, Thel stood up to them and they murdered him. Did did Thel have any interaction with... Uh, is it Hela at the Miners Exchange? Uh... And... Uh, no more so than, I guess more so than some in town, as his job is a woodworker, so he was making pickaxes and other wooden mining equipment. But nothing about the Red Brand in particular? No, nothing about them in particular. Okay, well, I'll leave you to it, unless uh, I look back towards Robert, see if there's anything he wants to say to them. Uh, there is one thing that you might want to ask. Oh, pfft, yeah. Um, Marina. Why did uh, we come here? Marina, um, you wouldn't happen to be able to point out to me on my little drawn map here where exactly Thunder Tree is in the area. Ah, uh, uh, yes. I guess that would be important information for you to find the payment I offered. Yes. Uh, I do remember where it is, for that is where I lived before we moved here. Uh, and she draws a little thing in on the map, and I just now realize I moved you back to Fanville, and so I moved you back to the Sword Coast, and uh, there is Thunder Tree. Oh, wow. Thunder Tree's a while away. But it's close to the Neverwinter Woods, so it's probably near Cragmore Castle. Ah. Yeah, um, that's far. Jeez. Yes. Um... Well, I mean, let's see. So, 24 miles, no, 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 five axes. Like, if it took us a week to get here from Neverwinter, that's like, what, four days away or something? I think I overestimated the Neverwinter. I think that's because you had a cart and wagon, so it slowed you down. But I think it's about two, two and a half days away. Okay, it's not too bad. 
Because you guys can move about 24 miles a day, and each hex is five miles. And we have, so can... we still have two horses, right, somewhere? Yes. Yeah. Okay, perfect. We still have the wagon, technically. Yeah, you do. They've just been being taken care of at the end, I guess. Yeah, but I think the horses will probably be faster. Okay, well, thank you, Marina. Um, We've been trying to put together a... Yeah, so you're about 51 miles. You can do about 24 in a day. About three days away. If you have any interest about talking about what happened to you, I would recommend speaking to Frito uh, and some of his compatriots. They're putting together a bit oh, of a I've group to try to... Already signed to investigate the town master. I just didn't wish to be talking about it in front of my kids. They've been through enough. Yes. Oh, well, let me let me leave it there and uh, enjoy the rest of your day, ma'am. Ah, you too, Oris. I'm glad I could be a little bit more helpful. Yes, I'm, I'm glad that we could stop those red brand losers. All right, I walk off the porch. <laughs> All right. Uh...